What is up fellow hunters, Bo here from BZ Hub, hoping you are having good luck in your hunts, but if you ever find yourself in a situation similar to mine in this video, I hope you do not learn the hard lesson I do and learn from it so that when you find a giant diamond in front of you, you don't make the same mistake. So see you there. So I'm on the trail of a, uh, what could be potentially a diamond mule deer. This is three, 385 to 462 in pounds, which probably means that it's a 385, which would put it under the diamond mark of 434 or 430. But uh, with 462 being the high point, uh, I would hope that, you know, somewhere in there, maybe we'll end up in the middle and it's really close to 430, which would be diamond. So. I'm on the trail. Uh, you can see we're really close, so I'm going to probably start crouching. The wind is going in the perfect direction. I don't want to jinx myself, but we'll just uh, keep moving towards the tracks. Um, try not to do anything too loud, and we'll just see what happens. So it seems like we've got a small herd of mule deer, including a mule deer between 300 and 385 here. Um, you know, in situations like this, I always have to wonder, you know, like uh, when you've got a legendary deer that's you know, close to 400 pounds or so, um, you know, is that like the boss and that these are all kind of like... Uh, Oh, all the little minions you have to kind of get past to get to the boss. So in regards to that, it kind of makes me feel like I'm in the place I need to be. I'm in, I mean, it, it, being the place I need to be, I'm around them. Uh, as far as where the wind's blowing, I'm definitely not where I need to be. The wind is blowing directly to them. I have some that are still standing around like a bunch of idiots, and others are running off, and <laughs> this one's alarmed and now fleeing, so they're all catching wind of me, and this isn't going to work out where I am right now. So that's, that is interesting, because I got the mating call, and the track didn't change, which makes me wonder if it has somehow done a full circle on me. Take the gun out. Rod. Oh, that's him. No. Well, we definitely know we're on the trail of a good-sized mule deer now. Um, had a very quick chance to get a shot at the lungs and didn't want to risk not getting full integrity or a quick shot. So we're just going to stay on the uh, stay on the trail and um, hope we get another chance. Uh, he just had too many mule deer right next to him at the time, and they kind of caught wind of me. You saw the small buck got right up next to me just like this one is right now but uh definitely diamond caliber mule deer he's quite a bit larger his antlers are quite a bit larger being up in this rocky this mountainy area i guess um he really doesn't have very many places to go he can do a full circle on me by running around uh this mountainous area obviously um but I'm hoping with it being so open, perhaps I can stay 
hidden in a little bit, and uh, and we'll catch him out in the open for a good clean shot. And honestly, if he goes up, is this him? Yep. So if he if he stops, I'll, I'll get a good shot on him. Um, but doesn't look like he's going to. And honestly, if we can get him any closer, it is a bit windy up here. So uh, it might pull the bullet a little bit. And uh, his, the rest of his herd is over in this region just east of us, so I feel like he's going to try to want to make his way back, which would be fine for us because he's going to just get closer and closer. And if he makes his way west, then he's going to get out of scent of me because um, I'm out of spray. So he won't be able to smell me if he heads more west, and uh, hopefully we can do a little bit of calling and get him closer to us. Oh, okay. Thought that was him, but it's not. It's just a red deer. What you doing, Mr. Deer? Mr. Red? What in the world? Oh, jeez. I'm mostly worried because I don't know how I'm going to sneak by them. Wish I could spot him. There's an 8. The 529 is just... I mean, if he was a diamond, he's right on the edge. Probably not going to get it with an 8. <sighs> okay, with that mythic kind of leading the herd away, I'm going to stand up and start trying to make up time. I been crouched this whole time trying to be sneaky with all those red deer around but we're losing that that diamond is going to keep moving and we're losing a lot of time trying to sneak around when it's way up ahead especially when the tracks are very difficult to find evidently all the Oh, of course. There's that mythic. The other red deer male. And they're all kind of freaked out now. But where is our diamond mule deer? I mean, that was a giant herd. I've never seen red deer in a herd that size. Well, maybe in Hirschfelden I might have seen one. Um, I thought it was a glitch at the time, though. Just because I wasn't used to seeing herds that size. But after seeing uh, wildebeest in large herds like that, um, it's not so, so much of a crazy thing anymore. Of course I scared him. Small buck there. Maybe he went over here to check out some of the does, huh? Say how'd he do? There's lots of decent sized mule deer that under other circumstances. Oh, that's that's actually him. 
I think. Yep. Doesn't look too big now that I see him. He turns broadside. Of course. You bastard. I mean, he's no five. He's definitely got a wide rack on him. Um. And I know it says 385 to 462, but I, I I tend to think looking at him, he definitely looks closer to the 385 realm. See, that one says 308 to 385, and he's pretty similar in size. But I bet this one's just short of 400 or so. But of course, I would be happily... I would happily be wrong about that. I'm just about there. I kind of wanted to get to that little sandy spot right there. I think that would be perfect. All right, do a bit of monologuing because that's what everyone does before they don't do what they're set out to do. All righty. And he's down. If I could get another one to stand there. That was the big one. Oh, no. I shot the wrong one. Ah, oh, I was thinking. I was like, ah, oh, he's not as big as I thought he was, but I guess that's him. Get another one in him so we don't have to freaking chase him forever. But man, that is... That's the big one. That I remembered seeing. Even after all that, we could have tracked him down again and got a perfect shot on him to make sure that we got the diamond. But I didn't. Normie move. Sure enough. Is there an all over the place? Oh my goodness. Look at those antlers, though. Ha! Ah, well, you know what? Even though he's not going to go in my cabin. Ah, oh, man. That is so, so bad. I mean, just a monster. And as a blonde, too. So, what have we learned from this situation? Well, there are a few things we can pull away from this. For one, the windage, it's gonna keep moving. Your diamond's gonna keep moving. You just need to make sure you are aware of where it's directing and where your diamond is running. 
which shouldn't be anything new to you. Added on to that though, there's going to be herds around there. For me, it was mule deer and red deer. They were everywhere. And anytime they caught wind of me or anytime they heard me, they were running. And that means that my diamond is going to keep running as well, which isn't good because you go from 0.5 miles to a mile to 1.7 miles chasing it and it's just going to keep on running. But that's not a big deal. The decoy buck. There's going to be a decoy in the herd with your diamond. It's going to be registering as the same weight as your diamond. So don't fall for it like I did. I'm a designer. I have a good visual memory and still I forgot what my buck looked like over the two and a half hours I was chasing it or whatever it was. So don't forget what it looks like otherwise you're going to fall for it like me. And even when you do fall for it and your diamond buck is running in front of you, don't take that shot. It's going to be so tempting. You finally got here. It may be broadside like it was for me, but you're going to end up missing it. You're going to end up botching that shot. It's going to run. It's going to be injured. Your quick shot bonus is going to end up at a big fat zero, which isn't good. You just chased it for 1.7 miles. You can continue chasing it for two, two and a half miles. But if you decide to just cut it off short at 1.7 and get that 0% quick kill bonus, all of it is for naught. And it's a big waste of time. How many more hours of gameplay are you going to have to do to find another diamond caliber deer? So those are my tips. I hope it was a help to you. I hope that when you are chasing your diamond deer, or diamond elk, whatever it may be, you don't make the same mistakes I did. So good luck hunters. See you next time.